Good morning, friends. Today we will cover what is Apache Hadoop and MapReduce. So Apache Hadoop is a collection of open source software uh, utilities that facilitates using a network of many computer, which works as slave nodes, to solve problems involving massive amounts of data and computation. So here we are talking about the big data, the data we are uh, dealing with uh, like in exabytes or zettabytes. It provides a software framework for distributed storage and processing of big data using the MapReduce programming model. So first, one of the uh, the software uh, utility that we are talking about Apache Hadoop is the file system that it uses, which is called as Hadoop Distributed File System, also called as HDFS, which is a distributed, scalable and portable file system written in Java for the Hadoop framework and also and allows users to work with large data sets of big data. It also duplicates block of data for fault tolerance. As we have mentioned that uh, for uh, having this fault tolerance, I mean, if the worker nodes goes down, we are still replicating the data across uh, different nodes so that the data is not lost completely. So for uh, Apache Hadoop, we have got HDFS as a file system, which uses blocks of data of default size 128 MB and replicates it multiple times to the slave nodes for fault tolerance. And also HDF, HDFS, uh, the file system uses MapReduce, which allows computations on that data. This MapReduce is what uh, it was replaced with Apache Spark later on. But let's discuss about what is MapReduce. So MapReduce is a way of splitting a computational task to a distributed set of files such as FDS, HDFS. It consists of a job tracker at master node. So this job tracker is very important because it, it is the one which is uh, responsible for uh, distributing the task across the, the slave nodes. So it consists of a job tracker at master node and multiple task trackers in the slave nodes. Job trackers send codes to run on the task trackers. The task trackers allocate CPU and memory for the tasks and monitor the tasks on the worker nodes. So as we have discussed before about the distributed system high level architecture, we have got a master node and several worker nodes working on each other. If we just look at the same design here and check it for the, app, the Hadoop system. So this is how it looks like. We have got a client here, Hadoop client, which can send queries and finally to the master node and get the query results at the end. And this is our master node is. So here we are talking about this master node. So this master nodes is actually the Hadoop framework. This Hadoop framework is having HDFS as, a, as its file system, which is having 128 MB of default block size, block size of data. And that block can be replicated across several slave nodes uh, in a partition format. So, uh, and this MapReduce, which is the software which actually works or computes on that data, it has got a job tracker in the master node. So this is a job tracker. And this job tracker will send the tasks, divide the tasks based on the data which is gets from HDFS. The HDFS is more about the data storage, you can see in the file system. And this MapReduce is having a job tracker on the master node, and it will distribute that uh, tasks. What it, that, that task can be anything like MapReduce, like uh, any like reduction or transformations and all, which we'll discuss later on. So there are several ways we can uh, distribute these tasks. Uh, of computations of or any actions or transformations to the slave nodes. Now the slave nodes has also got a task tracker and then based on the task, it will assign, it create a new child task or an executor to work on that task and it will use its own uh, CPU resources and uh, memory or hard disk uh, to, com to do that, uh, complete that task and return it back to the master node. And whenever we want to add a new slave node, we can just add it here uh, in the in the list of uh, collection of slave nodes. And this is the way we actually achieve the horizontal scaling in, in the whole Apache Hadoop framework. So to summarize, HDFS is used to distribute large data sets. It is, this is the uh, part of Hadoop framework job tracker and the slave node task trackers. And MapReduce is used to distribute a computational set task to a distributed data set. This is what we just discussed. 
in the next video we will learn about apache spark and see that how how it is going to replace and what is the architecture behind it and how why it is good to like replace the map reduce as a as a earlier apache hadoop framework so see you all in the next video